Working title, working title FC. <laughs> oh, should we do that again now? Fuck that. No duel, uh, no duel no of this. No, what happens when you go live, bro? And we used to go live quite a bit. We never had duel of this. We never did. Well, that's why oh, we no well, longer well, have that well, show. I've, I go live. Quite, I, I go live quite a lot, so I don't plug get it. Do. Plug yourself. Plug yourself. No, man. But also, it's by commentating stuff. Other than that, Senzo. Plug yourself. Forever Sports. Watch alongs on YouTube. We there. Check out the man. We there. I, I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. Pick him up today. <laughs> Lovely new hairstyle. It's long, bro. I had to do something with it. You know when it's like it's the equivalent of when your hair is in your face now as a white guy. I don't. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. What that shame. Means. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm seeing to the wrong person. You got to get yourself the Eric Kilmunga hair. Uh, that's too long for me. Is it too long for? I, you? I wouldn't let it go like that. I love that. Be Maybe it's because I love Michael B. Jordan. Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Is, oh. oh, Donnie Creed is the man, bro. Man, <laughs> I saw a TikTok. <laughs> Speaking of Michael B. Jordan, I saw a TikTok. Oh, my girlfriend gave me a TikTok, and this one lady, and she's probably my age. Her and her daughter. So her daughter's like 10, 11, 12, or around about that age. Yeah. She goes, hmm, mom, how old till I'm like 21? She goes, her mom calculates. Kids. She goes, how old will Michael B. Jordan be when I'm 21? <laughs> no, I'm just figuring out when we'll be together because, yeah, and then the mom's also like, yeah, no, I understand. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Donny Creed. Shout out to Donny Creed. Hey, listen, maybe that's what uh, Mane was asking. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the, I mean, it's, a, it's an investment. Hey, Mane did the same, uh, the, the same, the same mathematics. I'd, mm, I'd, it becomes contentious. Relevant, relevant start. Yeah. Because why do you have two working title episodes in your feed? Because we are Africa's best sports podcast, according to the African Podcast and Voice Over Association. Uh, and it's only right. Voted for by members, voted for by the public. And you're a sports show. We're uh, primarily show. football. And uh, it is Africa's biggest sports tournament. Kicks off, well... On the 13th, whenever you're listening to this, 13th of January, AFCON yep. is back and uh, we'll be doing episodes. AFCON 2023 in AFCON 2024. In 2024, like when they had that mess up. African time, my man. <laughs> this is the definition of African time. Oh, come on, man. It's like when they had Euro 20 in 21. That I understood. COVID is done now. We're all back on schedule. Not AFCON, my friend. Hey, man, they had it's the <laughs> rainy season. You can't have... No, I get it. You can't be playing soccer in AFCON. So you're right, AFCON 2023 and 24. Uh, so we'll be doing a AFCON, special AFCON episode. But maybe it's like the Olympics st story. It's too expensive to change the trademark. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the banners are printed, man. <laughs> we've done this for like, we've got an 11-year deal with these guys. It's too, it's too late. Oh. You do know that if it, that happened in South Africa. The e tenders, tenders oh, galore. Oh, my We're going man. Reprint everything. <laughs> oh, my Re man. Paolo would be starting a company. Tenders for everyone. Printing tenders for everyone. So we'll be doing a uh, special bonus episode for the AFCON. We're going to try to do two a week to keep up. Yeah. We're going to try. Uh, but at least once Try. a week. No, but like I mean, you you for our you remember for our uh, web Ellis spinoff. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we were quite good. Also, it was, it was concise. We gave the the people what they want. So they wanted that was a seven week tournament. This is oh a, yes, this was, is like a month. This is a month. Right, so seven week tournament versus a month. What are we going to call this? Because we can't use any official branding. Mm? Like we don't want to get sued by Patrice Matsepi. We don't we don't want him after us. We don't want to use any calf branding. You know. So are we just, we just working title FC presents. You know what? I guess who I'm going to WTA FC. WTA FC. I like that because hello Africa. I don't want to call it no, that. Bro, that's, uh, that's super sport vibes. And also that's um that's it's a, it's, a, it's a cell phone company's vibes, and we we don't have that kind of money. You know why I'm thinking about it because uh, tomorrow or today, Saturday the thirteenth, mm. I'm going to go to a retro concert. I'm going to go see Doctor Alban. Uh -huh, right. singing to backing tracks. That's where I'm off to. Oh, okay. The Nigerian, Swedish Nigerian dentist. Well, you can call it working title Ivory Tower edition. I like it because obviously it is in the Ivory Coast. Come on now. So let's get into it. Listen, you know, I love I love Afcon. Oh, Af Afcon oh, is great. Afcon, Afcon is great. Do you know Afcon is great? Must I tell you why Afcon is great? Short, concise. We know. We know those. I mean, 
I know players like that and stuff like that. And you see well, what Europe is going to be pillaging next. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know what's a great thing about AFCON is that like it is such an open competition because anything, you go into a Euro or a World Cup and you can probably say the winner will come from two or three. Mm. In AFCON, you can make a case. Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Egypt, Ghana, Cameroon, Senegal. Algeria. <laughs> Algeria. Morocco. I left the bit. Eight potential teams could win it. Uh, the eight potential teams could win it, or they could just pull a Zambia and say, "Listen, <laughs> well, we got this." <laughs> but the, South Africa. Are South Africa going to do it? Uh, bro, <laughs> uh, bro. Remember, uh, Cape Verde. Cape Verde. They were, they were, they were, they, they went deep they and they were, were good deep, when we were, when we, it was here, and nobody saw Burkina Faso making the thing. Hey man, what about you? Bring Cape Verde. It's the only time I'm going to mention him, my boy Pico. Yeah. From Cape Verde. Pico. <laughs> he goes by the name Ricardo Lopez when he's in. Uh, Ireland playing for Shamrock Rovers. Oh, when he, when he has to do government stuff, he's going to... <laughs> <laughs> but when he goes Cup Verde, he is Pico. He's oh, back. He's back. Oh, so he's, he's Pico now. He's back. He is the second player. He's the first player from Cup Verde to play in two consecutive tournaments. Because the first time they've done two, two consecutive um, tournaments. My God. Shout out to Cup Verde because like, it's like when um, Iceland was doing well at... It's a country of like 250,000 people, 300,000 people. I think, I think Sun City is bigger than Cup Verde. <laughs> You're right. There are more people living in the kind of suburb that we're in than in Cap Verde. Man, so uh, that is them. But listen, that's why I love AFCON. There are eight yeah, uh, teams that could potentially win it. And for me, it is the tournament of strikers. It always is. Yeah. Because you talk about pillaging. It, is, it always is the tournament of strikers. We're going to talk about some of the teams. So firstly, of those eight, right, I'm going to go through And also, again. it's the first time that like, the competition expanded. 24 teams or so. 24 teams. Top two go through of each group. And the two best third place... Would it be? Yes. I think that, that it's makes gonna sense. Be, it's going to be the same format as how you, you, did Euro, how did, did Euro expand to 24 or did they do 21st and then? Euro went to 24. No, Euro went from 16 to 24. Yeah, yeah so, so it's the same so thing. It'll actually be the, the uh, top two and then the four best third place teams. Um, yeah. So, you know, you, you're going to really have to be Bafana Bafana levels uh, to not go no, through. Bro, but Bafana, you dust them, but didn't we beat Egypt in Egypt? We're going to get to them. We're going to get to them. So listen, of the teams that I've named, okay. Do people even know the teams that are in the Afghan? You should know. I mean, a lot of teams in there. Give it to the people. So Group A, Ivory Coast, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea-Bissau and Nigeria. Mm-hmm. That's a group. I, I don't know. Uh, that, that That's group. one of the groups of death. <laughs> They're like right? Five. Group B, Cup Verde, Egypt, Ghana, Mozambique. Ga- Ghana and Egypt should do it there. Group C, Cameroon, Gambia, Guinea, and Senegal. That's also a tricky group. That is a very tricky group because, uh, you know, you go, oh, Gambia. What are we going to do? Gambia. No, no one will beat Gambia. Gambia kind of have the hottest scoring property in the Bundesliga. Yeah. No, I'm lying. That's Guinea. <laughs> so yeah. let me just skip through that bit. Get your teams back in there. No, but Gambia could throw a spanner in the works. They, they mess around, they beat Senegal. Someone threw a spanner in the airplane. Did you hear about that? They, they, they had to take in, a, in whose airplane? They had to take a small airplane yesterday. and Who, loss Gambia? Of, Gambia and loss of cabin pressure. Because all the teams are... Jeez, are how's airplane. that for a pun, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so someone threw a spanner in the works. They're all fine. They're all fine. Thank, I should hope Thank so. God. Listen, let's not make jokes because they've been mm, terrible uh, yeah. uh, air cra- crash tragedies. Uh, yeah. T- took Zambia. Out a fantastic, I mean, it's generational it's Zambian it's team. It's yeah, I mean, you know, if, if not for European privilege, you would have been on the same plane with them. Uh, group Jeez, G, bro. Algeria, Angola, Burkina Faso, Mauritania. That also could go lopsided. It could, it could vary. Uh, group E, Mali, Namibia, South Africa, and Tunisia. Whew. Uh, group F, DR Congo, Morocco, Tanzania, and Zambia. These groups aren't all pushers, pushovers, bro. Nothing. And, 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 you know, I was listening to a fantastic uh, preview podcast from BBC Africa where the BBC journalists were on there, Ghanaian um, uh, reporter, Nigerian reporters, a bunch of guys. And they said, you know, the thing about the AFCON is that you have players play in Europe, but when they come back to Africa, they are climatized to African football and the conditions and the way of playing in Africa because now you're dealing with you go okay I'm playing Bundesliga this guy's still playing back at home we've got to reach the medium but Paul it's like how when you're with your friends like when you're with your black friends and you're your white mates bro you change boy <laughs> and you, it, it's, it's something that happens subconsciously no I'm telling you right now I'm telling you right now you feel me so you're saying that's what's happening because it is so wide open throughout that tournament. And, and, and what's fantastic about it is that so many third-place teams go through. Yeah. So as much as you can go, okay, Ivory Coast and Nigeria, 
Because Nigeria have shut the bed a few times, so you can never say with them. No, but uh, we know what's going on. You chuck Guinea Bissau in there, and suddenly the whole thing. But also, I mean, the bit. fact that third place is. Your boy, I'll, the president of CAF was hanging out with Infantino, so you, you, we know what's up. <laughs> That's also a businessman, and good for him. Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleg- but, but, allegedly. But good for him. And also, I like it because, like, now. I feel like now, with the money that's been put behind it and the expansion of it, like now, African football, like, uh, I think Patrice wants to kick on. Because we're, in a, re- we're in a really interesting place in African football right now because. There, there Geographically, is, it's the best. That we're in the best location. There's a new African Super League, African Club Super League. Yes. Right? There are big competitions happening. Mm. There are places within, there's expanded uh, African places in the next yeah. World Cup. Yeah. You know, because you often hear from the European perspective ah, the World Cup, they're expanding it, they're making it terrible, the quality. Right. So they, hold, hold on a second. You got 48 countries and you get 13 in the World Cup. We got 54. Yeah. We're, and only five of us go. No, so you're opening it up for more. Af- so so it, it, it's a great time. More African teams in the World Cup. More African teams at the Club World Cup. Yeah, you know? bro. So on the one hand, when you come from Eurocentric, you're going, oh, no, all these competitions are diluting the quality. You're going, they're not. They're opening up the doors for sundowns. Why shouldn't sundowns have, not like the poor little sundowns, <laughs> but give them a global platform to go, why shouldn't we have a go at that? Yeah. You know, why shouldn't – remember TP Mazembe a few years ago yeah. when they had a ton of money in them, mm-hmm. and I, didn't they make the semifinal? They made the final of the World Club Cup? Uh, yeah. Something, something like that? But you look at – also, like, now – because now you look at it in Af- African football and stuff like that, and, you know, you look at – I mean, the richest club in Africa is al Ahli. And you look at their dominance in mm. what they did in the African Champions League. Mm. And then you look at how that coincided with Egypt's success in, um, in AFCON. And if it weren't for their political turmoil. Oh, sure. I mean, it's, it would have been still. So what Sundowns now are doing, and you can see it like with, the, with who's at the helm of CAF now and whatever, mm. how things are changing. And what Sundowns are going for. Sundowns are the only... So you look at how... How with PlayStation games? Yeah, yeah. There were only two African teams on the PlayStation game. What's the third now? Sundowns are there now. Well, they're all out, eh? In EF, EAFC, no, no, no South African teams. They're all but, out. But uh, I mean, we we rebooting, but yeah. that's okay. But you, as you as you see it, like you see no, no, what. I get it, yeah. So yeah, and, and, and also you know with these new competitions, with this new focus, I think the important thing is uh, for a lot of players, and there's a whole sinister side to this as well. If you're, there's more money coming to African football, whether it be through AFCON or, or various competitions, whatever, keep young African players in the African yes. leagues for longer. Yes. Up the quality because of the sinister side of we all know about players uh, being shipped off to Europe and, and what happens and, and uh, human trafficking and they end up in sl- whatever terrible things. Mm. But also from a point of view of how many guys go off, got real talent, and they just get swallowed by the system. Yeah, they get swallowed by the system where they because of where they were born Guys politically. Are home or, at sixteen years old, and it's just, uh, it's just and they must feed at home and all that. You can't do that, man. Yeah, you can't do that. So there's a lot of positives, but let's get into the really good stuff, the really exciting stuff. And and if you're sleeping on Afcon, you go, oh, I'm not going to watch it. Why would you not watch it? L- let me honestly, bro. Here are the players, because I want to get into this one first, right? We often say, uh, Salah. He never comes into the conversation of the best African player ever. Because he doesn't do it with Egypt. Right. So does he need to win an AFCON? Yes, because Mane and um, the guys that he's compared to of his generation, African players who've played mm. in the same league as him, they've delivered back home. Yeah. Mane's done it. Drogba's done it. Riyad Mahrez has done it. Riyad Mahrez has done it. We had the conversation during the last AFCON, where does Riyad Mahrez sit mm. as the best African player in the Premier League ever? Won it with two different teams, was yeah. pivotal in both. All he needed was a Champions League. You know? So, with Salah, and what's so crazy, I mean, you, you brought up Egypt earlier. There was a stage in the AFCON where e- it was Egypt. But like, bro, how, many, how, many, they, how many did they, they do in a row? I'll tell you right now. I know, uh, they, they've got the most. They, they've they, got seven. They've got seven. And they I think did, they did three in a row with uh, Abu Trika. Um, Mohamed Abu Trika. <laughs> oh, man. The... <laughs> The best player to operate on the African continent, that look was silky, bro. He, he really was. He really was. That guy would have gone, and, and this is the thing, you don't uh, always have to... But he's a big, be... he's big into the... If it went for 
as I said, the Egypt's re- yeah. in the political situation, their regime. I mean, Abu Chika. St- listen, yeah, they did three. They three peated. They did three in a row. Oh six, oh eight, twenty ten. Because people go, oh, you know, Mohammed Salah. Oh, I said, you know, is an absolute people in in in, in, in Egypt. This guy. But Abu Trika was that guy. Like, tal- talented. And he put it on his back and he operated he in Egypt. They ca- ca- in Egypt. Big, big clubs came for him. All, all the time. Big clubs came for him, like blockbuster clubs. Mm. But I'm sure he saw like um, sto- uh, guys like Hossam Mido and um, Mohammed Zidane and how they, their careers. Listen, mm. Mido was a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for very different reasons. Yeah. Um, so, so very interesting for Hamid, Mohammed Salah because... This is the tournament where it's you, you, he's got one more because the Afghans every two years, um, so he's probably got one more chance of it. But you know, at this peak, if he goes in, he takes this um, where he is right now. The goals he's scoring, the Afghan could change the Premier League title race. Yeah, you know, because Salah goes deep. He goes to the final. He's away from Liverpool for a month, just at that point where City are starting to turn. Yeah. Ah. So does Salah take his first one? I want to talk to you about another guy, Sadio Mane. Uh, he of the child bride. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Father, we can't be throwing up paceless statements like that. But um, Allegedly. Yeah. Does he go back to back with his, with his uh, Saudi-based Senegal team? Hmm. We, we haven't seen Sadio Mane. We don't know what's happening. Because, you know, yeah. listen, he, he's, he's in a team with Ronaldo. He's not getting the ball. Uh, but also he was at Bayern Munich and that didn't quite work out. So he's got a chip on his shoulder. He's got something to prove. He thinks so. Don't you think that long out, like that elite level, has maybe just taken that? You think it's taken out that? Oh, I could have made him more hungry. But also, Oaks, Oaks are different. Oaks are. This is when you see it because, you know, it's, uh, in Egypt, they're probably thinking, yes, this is Muhammad Salah. England's changed you, but soft life. Yeah, so, maybe. Soft life. Oh, because yeah, of that terrible it's concentration a, camp called Saudi Arabia. Yeah, no, no. Playing, no, yeah. but like the thing is, but with Saudi money, right? Yeah. Even though he was getting Liverpool money, you know what I mean? He still went back home and he did things and now, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's soft life. He didn't change him. Now he's just going to go, hey, bro, hey, I built hospitals and stuff. I'm, I'm allowed to go spend my money. I'm allowed to go, go, go get married and stuff now. Maybe being with a younger woman has uh, sapped him of his energy. Ah, maybe, yeah. He needs to feel invigorated <laughs> again. You know, he needs, he's like, no, man. <laughs> Listen, the oldest man in Africa, I cannot believe he's 31 years old. Sadio Mane. No, no, Vincent Abubakar. Bro, Vincent that Abubakar. That man loves like- an AFCON. But Sadio Mane is the same age as Vincent Abubakar. I know, but Abubakar has been around. Surely he's been playing since 1980s. He, he is on the team with Roger Miller. I'm sure he's. I, <laughs> I'm sure he three pieces with like Eto'o and Bomber in them. I'm sure he was there. <laughs> he has to have been. Abubakar, right? Yeah, it does feel like Vincent Abubakar has been, but like. But that man. I'm sure I've seen a picture of Abubakar playing in the Cameroon kit with the, uh, with the sleeves. Yeah. With the, 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 remember when Cameroon had the vest? Oh, yeah. And yeah. then they had the, the, the leotard. Man, that's why I love the AFCON, right? <laughs> yes. Because, you know, th- there was a stage where Cameroon champ. Cameroon are sponsored by like some no name brand now, but they used to be Puma's poster boy. Mm. And they had this iconic kit, which was a vest, they had no sleeves. Yeah. You remember that? Because it was too hot, yeah. So, uh, well, it was just swag. So yeah, they, was swag. They, they played it for they AFCON. They played in the AFCON. And 2002. In the, and the, the World, World Cup, Cup they actually had black sleeves. Black sleeves, guys. We've got to put the sponsor on there. Black oh, sleeves. Then do you know what they did afterwards? And then they had that leotard, <laughs> leotard the one piece. Bro. The one piece. Oh, bro. Puma. Oh, oh man. But I mean, I mean. I, I saw Abubakar in that kit. I'm telling you, I'm are convinced. Are you serious? I'm convinced. But he would have been 11 years old. I also, this is why Saudi Money has got a point to prove. Doesn't Abubakar also play in Saudi Arabia? Uh, he was he got kicked out because Ronaldo Ar- took his uh, place. Out of El Nasir? Because the, of the amount of foreigners they had. Oh. So he got moved out because of Ronaldo, and then Ronaldo bought all his buddies. Um, <laughs> so Bubakar is going for Cameroon. Cameroon have got six AFCONs. They they've just got, know how to do an AFCON. No, they've got five. Oh, they're going for six. They're yeah, going they're for going their for six. six. Yeah. They're going for the six. And so, yeah, it's Egypt seven, Cameroon five, Ghana four, Nigeria three, Cote d'Ivoire two, Algeria two, D- DRC two. Zambia one, Tunisia one, Sudan one, Senegal one, surprisingly, mm. Ethiopia one, Morocco one, South Africa one, Congo one. Now listen, we're going back very far because AFCON, the oldest uh, continental tournament. Yeah, uh, 1957, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. older than the Euros. Older than the Euros, older than Copa America. About uh, the same age as the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. Or European Cup. Yeah. It'd be draw that parallel. Listen. There's a guy that I'm very interested to see because we don't see too much of him because he's in the Bundesliga. He is, I think Harry Kane just 
has gone top scorer over him. Mm-hmm. 27 years old. He's Ooh. kind of the guy that everyone's talking about. United going, oh, linked. Everyone should say United linked, <laughs> Arsenal linked. Who takes a punt on him? Sarah Gurassi. If you don't know about oh, this bro, guy, yeah. he's seen him play? all the goals in Germany. But have you seen him play? But it seems like a fluke though. And listen, he's got everything. He's got everything. Yeah. But it, he's never scored at this rate before. Yeah. He's having this like ridiculous... Um, you got some gas total. He's got that's he's got some total. <laughs> yeah. Um he's leading Guinea. You know, if you hear about if you hear about it, like this is the guy who's gonna save a lot of seasons, got an insanely low buyout clause under twenty million. And he's twenty seven. Twenty seven prime. Ah, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I, I wanna see him. It'd be interesting to see. But like you you'd buy twenty if if they told you Borussia Dortmund twenty seven year old is doing these numbers and he's priced as that. He's not Dortmund, he's Stuttgart? Uh, yes, he is Stuttgart. I think he's Stuttgart, yeah. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Yes. Yeah. At, at Dortmund is Sebastian Haller. Yeah, I, that's why I'm getting confused. That's the guy who yeah. you're looking at. Listen, great comeback story Ivory for him. Ivory Coast had testicular cancer. Uh, yeah. Come fought back from that. He's playing for Ivory Coast. Uh, you remember we scored I'm so surprised Chupa Moteng is not the guy to watch from Cameroon. He's great. dropped. He's dropped. That, uh, soft life, I told you. That, that's why United <laughs> can get him. Because he, soft life, my man. <laughs> yeah. He, he's uh, he's Chupa Moteng's. Uh, Drop. Listen, but but just I just want I just want you to think about this. I haven't even named the next guy, but that's we're we're, we're, we're talking about a tournament. There are diamonds in the rough. In, in, in well, with, uh, with superstars, superstar, and these guys aren't small footballers. Salah, Mane, the you, top scorer in Germany, Sebastian Haller. Wait till we get to Nigeria and all that. And oh. this guy, Victor Asime. Yeah, this is the guy with. A massive bar clause. Just got a huge contract. And twenty five eh? contract. Twenty five years old. I mean, how do you look past Nigeria when you've got a strike like that? He should be. Who's who's the current? Who's the reigning African player of the year? This isn't. It's Mane. How though? Because guys like Victor Osimhen were doing other things. I think when you look at yeah, it, it is strange. Listen, I remember one year Pierre uh, Emerick Aubameyang was in there, and for no reason other than he has swag. So <laughs> he was nominated. He didn't win. He didn't win because did you see how he was dressed? Didn't, everybody's in a tux. He came in a bedazzled Ed Hardy so, shirt and a so, cap. So he claims that <laughs> the plane with his luggage on left. So he claims he had a suit. Uh, Only one. No, 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 no. I'm lying. I'm like, here's the story that happened. So apparently he flew in from France because one of his parents was sick. Yeah. He flew in last minute. Something happened with the plane. It left with his. Uh, but you cannot get a suit. You are, you're you're br- Pierre Emerick Obama Yang. You cannot get a suit. You can do it in France. Like, don't you t- you, aren't you want to tell your guy that team must fly in something else a, a couple of weeks before? Come on. Even, nah, on, that even, ca- even on the day, you, yeah. can't, you can't even go to a buddy there. Yeah. Ex- someone's bought two. Or oh, there's someone coming, like someone that you know is coming to the, bro, please just, hear, you feel me? Yeah. Nah, man. We've all, we've all left a jacket at someone's house. You send an Uber. Well, no, you said an Uber. Back in the day, bro, you, if your boy's big, age. Hey. But I mean, listen, the top scorer charts in this is going to be sick. Uh, Ghana have got a very young side. Going to be very excited to see Oh, no, this yeah, guy. Victor Osiman is the current African player there. Oh, is he the current yeah, African player there? Okay, okay. Tw- yeah. Okay, well, what do I know? Uh, <laughs> Mohamed Kudus uh, for Ghana. Uh, uh, the man that broke, the man that tore United apart. Excited to, to get it. Mohamed Kudus, but you even forget Mohamed Kudus is African. No, no, man. Gone in. There, there, there are so many fantastic players in this tournament. Um, now, those are the guys who are going to be challenging the top scorer charts, challenging the player of the tournament char- charts. Yeah. Should be. Uh, I, I, I find it very difficult to look past a... And what we didn't even mention there is the brilliant Ivory Coast striker and Chelsea fans. You'll be thankful to be rid of him for a little while. Uh, Nicholas Jackson. Yeah. And also you know? Sundance fans, guys. Peter Shaolule. Come on, son. That's good. Namib- N- Namibian guy. Namibian guy. If a lot of people think he's South African, I'm like, nope, he's yeah. Namibian. So yeah, the- and, and he's done it the hard way. Listen, he hasn't yeah. had a, he hasn't had an easy career. He he really struggled to get. We forget up there. that Hakim is Moroccan. So let's get into Morocco, right? Yeah. Surely you got to say that a team that, that made a World Cup semi final, made a World Cup semi final, the furthest African team had never mm. won, the first their continental competitions straight off that, that they got to win it. Yeah, and they've only, and they've underachieved at Afcon. They've only got one. They always have, but they do flatter to deceive. There, there's kind of this weird stigma about North African sides when they not in North Africa and doing well in the Afcon. You kind of feel that with Mor- that Moroccan side. That what are you what are you trying to say? 
I'm just I don't I don't know it's, <laughs> that it's, it's rigged. No, I'm no, no, no. I'm not saying it's rigged. I'm just saying that that there is even even with, with with Egypt, there's kind of like a. But Egypt did win one. Did win in '98. Egypt when probably they beat won us. one everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Egypt have won one everywhere. And when they beat us in the final tunnel, or some are saying. You know, and and the thing with Morocco is that we, we named so many like really good strikers there. Mm. Morocco don't have that. Yeah, uh, you, you know, you know they don't. They, uh, oh, you saw what they played in the World Cup. You know, they've they've got Hakimi, they they've got Amrabat, and Morocco played very well when they were the underdogs. Dude, you know, last time Morocco won an Afcon was f- was um, nineteen seventy six. They only won. Yeah, yeah. They drew one. You know, you know, and the thing with Morocco, they were underdogs. Yes, they took out Spain, Belgium, and Portugal. Okay, but they were underdogs. They could park the bus. They could sit. Nobody expected them to. You know, the onus is going to be on them in this tournament. Say, uh, you guys got to kind of come at us. You got to make things happen. Also, they're the highest ranked African side in yep. the world in on the, the world. FIFA rankings. And you they're know, thirteenth. They're in a group: Congo, DR Congo, Tanzania, and Zambia. They're going to be expected to attack. Oh, to, they're, they're going to expect it to walk it. And how many goals is Akimi going to score? Because I can't see where else. Bro, there's only one false two in the world, bro, and he plays for 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 Barcelona. There you go, and he's Portuguese. So there, there you go. Um, and also, uh, didn't he just go through a divorce? And also, who's that? Hakimi. Yeah, his wife tried to finesse him, but he said, "No, brother, no, no money." Yeah, him. and he finessed. Yeah, and well, he, yeah. we'll tell the story there. Is that Hakimi was going through a divorce? He had women at his house <laughs> while he was separated. He wasn't divorced. Anyway, it was a whole ugly thing. Hakimi, because you'll remember the photos of Hakimi doing the World Cup with his mom. Yeah, man. Remember those photos? Everyone loved them. Oh, what a lovely boy. He takes his mom and kisses his mom. Mm-hmm. Hakimi has put all his assets, even his salary, goes into his mother's bank account. <laughs> so when his wife tried to divorce him, you're not going to get He's like, I don't know. Uh, no, no. she, she, wa- she wanted to divorce him and she thought, oh, man, I, I got this. Master. I'm taking it. It's like, oh, God, it's girl. Like- I got nothing. You can look, but I got, like- I got nothing. My mother owns everything. That is called, that is R2. R2 finessed. He finessed uh, Mrs. Uh, Hakimi there. M- Mrs. Hakimi? What's it? Who'd his mother be? Anyway. Mrs. Uh, Hakimi JR. <laughs> Hakimi JR. <laughs> do you call women? You don't call a woman JR. Mm. What do you call a woman when she's I a, don't know. And I should know that. These, these, are the, these are the real questions. And of course, you've got to put something. You've got to talk about the top five young African players. These are the players mm. they say that could break through. The guys who are next. Lamina Kamara from Senegal. Yes. Uh, he plays for Mets. You I've, seem to I've, know I've, I've seen Lamina Kamara. <laughs> There's something there. Yeah. There's something there. And if he plays for Senegal, like, you know, yeah. Senegal, they go, Saudi Arabia is going, come with me, follow me. Coming to, coming to Brighton uh, near you. Wilfred Douala uh, from Cameroon. Yeah. Uh, Did you see, was he in the World Cup squad? I think he was in the World Cup squad. No, he's 17 years old, so I doubt oh, he would have been. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He plays in, he plays in Cameroon. Uh, Ka- Karim Konate. Uh, also plays for us, uh, RB Salzburg. Okay. Uh, they don't take shit players. RB, RB Salzburg. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. They they, 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 they they seem to know what they're doing. Um, Ernest Nuama from Ghana. He mm-hmm. plays for Olympic Lyon. Uh, uh, bottom of the table. But again, they don't buy bad players. They they always spot yeah. a good player. But Olympic Lyon, huh? And then Currently. Michael Amir Richardson Jr. Uh, mm-hmm. Not an NBA player. <laughs> plays for uh, Morocco. Uh, oh, there is he one of those hybrid that's. Is it like a Zaha case? Yeah, yeah. Could have could have played for England or yeah. But, yeah, that is a very uh, English sounding name. So probably from the diaspora, the Moroccan yeah. diaspora. So young players to keep an eye out. Uh, let's talk a little bit about South Africa. So Hugo Bruce, South Africa has it kind of there was a period where we went from Afcon winners, semis, quarters, da da da. Oh, it, it slipped, it slipped. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, South African football not in the greatest place at the moment. Uh, but well, we did all right to the the other uh, previous you, Afcon. You, you, you got Bruce is doing things. Previous Afcon, I think we got out quarterfinals. Yeah, beat Egypt in Egypt. Beat Egypt in Egypt you with got, the, with Mohammed Salah there. You brought it up earlier about Egypt and um, when Al Ahly were the dominant side. Mm. Kind of Al Ahly and Zamalek were the. <laughs> right. uh, it was the, it was the North African dominance because yeah. you had like Roger Casablanca, Esperance of Tunisia also yeah, doing yeah. it, uh, ASM Algier from um, Algeria yeah, also yeah. doing it. So, and Inyimbo were the only people from West Africa kind of like hey. uh, holding it up. Hearts of Oak, Hearts of Oak, Hearts of Oak. Yeah, but <laughs> Hearts of Oak saw the Vodacom Challenge money and they said no, we not go back. Yeah, <laughs> so. Hugo Bruce is doing what the in the best tradition of uh, Al Ahly in Egypt. When you've got one dominant club side, just put 
as many players in there as you can so, and let the other four or five figure it out. Big, but isn't that what you should do? Uh, 100% because you don't have time. Yeah, it's, bro. Especially when you... So, of course, the majority of the South African squad is Sundowns players well, and mean, at least half the starting lineup is going to be Sundowns players. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, why, why not? Eh? It, it only makes sense. And also our best player used to play for Sundowns. You know, so he knows the system. So, so it does hundred percent make sense, and uh, it bring him in from the cold. Not many players were talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. I uh, hope. I hope he's got pizza on Simano on speed dial. Saying, bro, you know how to beat these Egyptian guys. You've been there. You did, and you've coached Sundowns. Tell me something. You feel me? You know, get some, get some uh, uh, support there. Yeah. So, the and, and it makes total sense because when you look at the the spread of South African players, you've got okay, can't make the squad. And it's now becoming a bit of an ugly debate thing is Lyle Foster. But mm. when you've got a guy playing in the Premier League and then you've got a guy, and for argument's sake, that Lyle Foster was in there. You've got a guy playing in the Premier League and then you've got another guy playing as well as he is playing second division in Portugal. And now you've got to find a medium between the two. No, you, and you, You're not going to find it. And you've only discovered that this guy is... It was with... Uh, who's our, who was on midfield? Um, guy playing for Oldham? I forgot him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, oh. yeah. yeah. Guys are only getting capped. Oaks are only getting capped at like 28, 29. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if he was in Sundowns, he, he, Sundowns aren't going to buy. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, so rather go say, listen, we know what the standards are at Sundowns. The standards at Sundowns are as good as you're going to get. They, they, they're punching yeah. above their own weight in African yeah. global tournaments. You know, so, okay, yes, the owner of the club made a new tournament that you can win. That's fine. <laughs> but like they don't do bad at Cap no, Champions League. No. They they actually go deep and they 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 one of the guys. Exactly. So it just makes so much sense to go. You know what? You guys know. You guys know. You, you play together week in week yep. out. I don't have time to figure this out extensively. Yeah. The rest uh, and you've been here. You, you're not gonna. The, if you're taking somebody who's not playing in African, you know the Sundowns guys. They know what Africa's about. Yeah, they, they know what it is traveling. They know when they go to West Africa. Okay, cool. They're going. These orcs are physically going to bully us. We're small. We're smaller than them. They know what it's like being in camp. They know what it's like being away from home. They know it. Hostile so, crowds and they, they, the ref is against you and all, all that. Yeah, they, they know it. So he's. It's an absolute masterstroke from him. I am. Maybe I'm still drunk on Springbok skiers. You know. <laughs> And I won it, but and, ba- and banyana here as well. And banyana here, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm all in. I'm like, hey, where are the William Nickel T-shirts? Like if I, I am right now. The minister of sport before Bafana left should have called them. Disgusting! All. What's disgusting? What's happened? Do you know what he should have said? You should have called them. No, no, you should have called them and said, right, uh, Kolisi, bring your boys and bring your boys and Rasi, um, Deja Ellis, bring your girls and talk to these guys. Have a chat yeah. to these guys. Yeah, because I want that kiss, man. I, I, it's got to be because the the conversation that that happened around the World Cup and after the Springboks one are people saying, "Are we now a rugby country?" You know, because Sia helped break down that no, ugliness that went with the Springboks, right? No, we're not a, a rugby country, though. We, 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 we're 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 a winner country. <laughs> who are the Af- who are the African women champions? What well, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. So so for Bafana, like I go, Proteus didn't do too badly. When when you look at that lineup of teams. You look at that. I mean, we're talking Mohamed Salah at Egypt, yeah. Sadio Mane at uh, um, uh, Senegal, Osimhen at Nigeria, Morocco at Hakimi. I mean, you're talking about some S- of the, the global superstars. Superstars. If South Africa can get a semi-final place, bro, your stock in is that, gonna go through. I'm this. going like that's as good as winning yeah, the rugby world yeah, cup. Bro. Because Springboks are elite in rugby. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Springboks are there to be beaten. Uh, yeah. If you're Bafana and you can get top four with those players, you go, wow. We yeah, should get bro. excited about that. Yeah, because no, it's not like it's not like qualifiers and stuff. Everybody bought their best. They said, okay, yeah. cool. Mo, come back. Yeah. We, we, we know we know it's hectic for Klopp, but Klopp is going to have to understand. Yeah, listen, we know, we know Jürgen's got the airplane waiting for you. Like as soon as the game finishes, you're going off. Yeah. None of that, yeah. You, yeah, you ask you're, 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 yeah. You, you're for a couple. You have of weeks. to concentrate. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So for me, I'm going. I want to put into the heads of South African football fans. Okay, get. Be, everyone wants to complain. Ah, but fine, but fine. You complain because your team doesn't win. Okay, that's a shitty supporter. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. bro. We, 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 for the good times and bad. We all support rubbish soccer teams. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we do. Yeah. We do. And your team, you can't just be there when they're good. You've got to support them for something else. Something's happening in Bafana right now. Yeah. Something's happening. I mean, Hugo Bruce did win at AFCON as well. That's what I'm with, saying. With, with Cameroon. Cameroon. With Cameroon. The guy knows. Something is just happening. It's brewing. The whole Sundowns thing. It's just kind of happening. And I'm saying, look at the lineup of this tournament. Mm. Look at the players. Mm. If we can get a 
even a quarter, but look I'd at love the a jersey, semi. bro. Uh, it jersey it's swag. Right. We're, we're rebranding. <laughs> they're not even going to play in that one. The, the one we've seen. So the <gasps> Bafana have issued a kit which they're not going to play in. It's kind of like a regen of the '96, oh, uh, World, uh, the '96 Afcon winning we kit. We should have won that kit. It's kind of a hybrid '96 '98, but they're but not. The fit is cool because it's an all white one. Yeah. So I think Bafana are going to play in uh, yellow, oh, green, and white. Oh. Yeah, there's not that one because that one's killer, right? Mm. Um, but I'm just saying there's just something happening there. And if this team can pull off something in this lineup. Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, last time they got to quarters and we didn't expect them to do that. No, not at all. This is a strong tournament. This is a strong, strong-ass tournament. What does our squad look like um, for the people that don't know if, you, if you've got it for us there, Paolo? Or... I have got the probable starting lineup. Okay. Um, yeah. You're probably going to look at a starting lineup. Oh, which makes sense. I mean, because he's flooded with Sundowns, guys. So yeah, yeah, well, exactly. 4 2 3 1. Uh, Williams and goals. Williams and goals. Mm-hmm. You know what? My tricky, clicky fingers here have just closed it. Listen, what you want to do for yourself is you want to go look on the analyst.com. And this is what we're using to reference, and we, we're doing them a huge Oh, they're pulling service. a Senzo now, because I'm, I'm that guy normally. So, so Paolo <laughs> is pulling a me now. Se- Stats. You see, this is why I wasn't so quick on it. But um, th- you got the analyst.com, and look at their breakdown of FCOM. Yeah. It, is, it is crazy. Um, so probably lining up, we got Williams and Gold. Yeah. We got uh, Kalisi Madao at uh, right Kalisi back. Kalisi Madao, yeah. Sundowns, yeah. two Sundowns. Mvala and, Shul- and Sulu at uh, centre backs. Sa- Mvala Sundowns. And uh, Aubrey uh, Mokwena. Uh, Aubrey Modiba at left back. Bro, half your team is Sundowns. Uh, already. Uh, th- th- it's six And you not even spoke about Timbo or nothing. Uh, Sitole on the left. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tabojo Mokwena. <laughs> yeah. Um, Percy Tao. Oh, Tabojo Mokwena. And then up front, uh, La Passa or Makopa. That's a decent team. It's a decent... Man, Lyle Foster, man. You put yeah, Lyle Foster in there and suddenly there's half chance But the, also, it's, we, uh, also, it's not guaranteed to do it because now Lyle Foster has to learn... Like, he has to... It's a different way. It's a different system it's now. Different. Listen, Hugo Bruce has played a master stroke. That is half a Sundance team. Yeah. A team that knows how to do it. There's, there's, there's a way of playing. Yeah, yeah. Ex- exactly. There's a way of playing. Now you can see what they're trying to do. And, and that's something that like maybe a Nigeria, when you're going to go look through a Nigeria squad, yeah. you're going, wow, star, star, star. But is the chemistry there? Yes. Do they work mm. together? You know, these are guys that come from uh, Fulham and this one's from Napoli but, and this one's from, yeah. But do they work together? Which goes to my point again. When Egypt were busy conquering Africa, that's how many were al Ahli? And they said, they said, Abu Trekker, you're the guy you're playing... You play there, lead those guys. Hey, so listen, you know, we've been very critical of South African players for a long time that they never leave the uh, mm. DSTV Premiership, whatever it's called now. Yeah. But maybe in some way Hugo Bruce has gone, you know what it is, what it is, and I'm just going to take advantage of it. Yeah, I'm going to work with what I have. Hey, man, so so back, back, just back there, man. Oh, no, you have to, bro. You know, you had Bok Friday. It's the day before the tournament. There is not a Bafana thing anywhere. Bro, it's, no it's, it's sad, eh? There is not like one of those Super Sports. Super Sport only got the rights this week. Ah, bro. They, they only they, got the rights. They, 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 we've, oh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, but like, uh, we've, we, we, no, we've let, around, ba- we've let ba- Bafana down because Bafana probably like, these guys don't even support us. I get it, bro. Y- uh, no matter how bad your kid is, like, you have to... He's one of yours, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. That's yeah. what I'm saying. There's not even one of those super sweeping, stylistic, oh, I'm talking uh, <laughs> slowly ads around, yeah. about, you know? None of that shit. So you can't expect a team when they don't have support. We're sending them out there against some of the best fucking players in the world. And there's not even a, 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 not, not even a fake T-shirt being sold in the corner. Guys, we don't expect you. To, we don't expect them to win. Come on, but like, bro, you you support you. You stand by your kid no matter what. Stand by your, your charity team. begins at home, guys. That's what I'm saying, man. So don't. So we want this. We on tape. So when Senzo and I are here going full Bafana Bafok, people going, oh, you're jumping on the bandwagon. Saying, no, 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 what are you? Which country do you live in? At the kickoff of the tournament, we were behind Bafana. Because the thing is, like, for me, it's also like the thing of like, and it's that. Thing. Like we once you see Bafana and then the anthem is sung, there's different chias now. We we're going now. Totally different, man. Uh, so listen, some of the uh highlights, the opening weekend highlights you want to watch yourself. Mm-hmm. Egypt versus Mozambique in group B. Uh Oof. Senegal are kicking off their defense against Gambia. 4 0 Senegal. Coming up later this week, I think it's on Thursday, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. No, I'm not going to do what I did on the rugby pod because it's harder to call football games. No, no, no. It, it totally is. And it's environments that you don't uh, yeah. know. And it's like, you know, that. Upsets are easy in football games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Definitely is. So, 
this is it. This is the first game. The first. Oh, and there's a Senegal uh, Cameroon next week, but we'll be back before then. Yeah. Uh, so this is the first episode of our uh, special spin-off series of uh, for the Afcon. Uh, the AFCON 2023 and 24. Paolo, how many Portuguese? But That's also, the name of it. 23 and 24. They, there we go. 20, Kobe and Jordan. I like it. Hey, 23 and 24. Come on now. And I know where you're going. And thank you for bringing it to me. Because listen, we want to talk about coaches. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's just go through some of the coaches in this. Oh, okay. I'll, I've, I've got the Do list. You have the coaches? <laughs> Firstly, we've got to talk about Rigobo Song. There is one group where the, the four coaches, three of them, I would love to be on a three a three aside team with them. Patrick, yeah, okay, yeah, who would do it? Uh, it, it? It's it's the Cameroon group. It's Rigo Bosong, uh, uh with the uh, who who won Senegal's coach. Uh, Alou Cisse. Alou Cisse, and then the uh, the other coach also played for West Ham for a couple of years. All the names just got on my head. Uh, right okay, so, so we've got for Algeria is uh, Jamel Be- Belmadi. He's country birth France. Pedro Gonzalez, Angola. Come on. Ding, Ooh. Portuguese number one. There you go. Hubo, Hubo Velut, Burkina Faso, country birth, France. We've spoken about Hugo Betsong. Cap Verde, Pedro. Yeah, Paulo. <laughs> it's a very Portuguese name. He's not Portuguese. He's from yeah, Cap Verde. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's from Cap Verde. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, apologies to him. Jean Louis Gasser, Ivory Coast, France. Sebastian Desbarre, DRC, France. Ri Vitoria, Egypt, country Ding. birth. You can guess it. Portuguese number two. <laughs> Juan Mija from um, Equatorial Guinea, of because they speak Spanish, but they still um, you're wondering what the Spanish name. Uh, so it's Equatorial Guinea. Chris Hutton, coach of Ghana. Chris Hutton, coach of Ghana. Hey, that you, you that have got, uh, gone under the radar, and he's doing a great job. Yeah. yeah. Kabi Diawara, Guinea, country of birth, Serbia. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, Kande from Guinea Bissau, the Gambia Tom si- Siphonet, country of birth Belgium, another Belgian coach. So, and then Mali's coach is uh, Eric Shell from Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, coached by a Portuguese. Ding! Jose Pesado. There you go. And o- then, almost won the league title for Sporting. Imagine, you guys are going hard. <laughs> Zambia, coached by Avram Grant. That is wild, right? <laughs> that is absolutely wild. Zambia, a coach by Avram Grant. <laughs> A man that's been to a Champions League final. Yeah, that is absolutely wild. The man, the, the man that was uh, is close personal friends with a young Roman Abramovich. He's got Roman on speed dial. Hey, he'll send in Roman's hit squad. I mean, ask, 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 ask Obi Mikel. <laughs> like, <laughs> if things get too bad, please go get us. But keep, uh, go, keep going, keep going. Uh, on the oh, you really want it, eh? You really do want it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, Colin Benjamin from Namibia, Namibian. Uh, Conde from uh, Mozambique. Uh, Lucisa Shikini Conde as well. I'm going to claim him because he played pretty much all of his career in Portugal. Played for Sporting. I mean, it's, so it's Eusebio, Jason. We can, you can have that one. Um, Jalal Kadri, uh, Tunisia, country of birth, Tunisia. Tanzania, Adel Amarush, country of birth, Algeria. And Hugo Bruce, country of birth, Belgium. So, yeah, three out of the five African nations who competed at the recent 2022 Qatar World Cup were managed by African coaches. Shout yeah. out to that. Cameroon, yeah. Tunisia, and Senegal. So, I, remember, yeah, I, remember, I remember that being us uh, talking about it. So, out of the f- 24 teams, um, 11 of them are African managers and 55 and 13 are foreign managers. The Portuguese get in there, but you know who's missing? Because he, he took the oil money, Herve Renard. Herve Renard. The hey. only man to win it with two different teams. He started the Saudi revolution. It was him. He, he, saw, he, he saw it early. He got in early. Man, that man, that man knows, knows said, how to wear a white shirt. And he beat Messi at Messi's tournament. He did. He did. You know, you, you're Herve Renard. <laughs> and you've now won the AFCON with two different teams. Zambia. And then you go, and he broke the duck with Ivory Coast. Remember, Ivory yeah. Coast lost so many finals in a row. But yeah, they, they just was, couldn't but, do it. it. But they'd done it in 92, but it was just, hey man, come but, on. But, but they yeah, had that, they they had that super man. team. Oh, but like, yeah, they, they had, had that super team. That kept losing to Egypt. Yeah, and then he broke, he broke that yeah. duck. Then he gets, takes the Saudi money, beats Messi. And I think that was the last game Argentina have lost. <laughs> it right? Was. That man, how many palaces does he have? <laughs> <laughs> how many palaces? He was, you thought he was looking good before? Wait. He has his white shirts made on him. He just. Honestly, those, those, shirt, those shirts don't crease, bro. They're no sweat, no crease, nothing. nothing. You thought the Italians were looking sick. He's like, let me show these guys something. So suddenly I'm not as excited about the um, AFCON anymore. No Herve Renard. Um, but that's it. Uh, 
working title FC presents 23 and 24. I've got a prediction. Watch Avram Grant soil the bed with Zambia. Avram Grant is a disease, bro. Okay, listen. Give me a prediction. Now, like I say, we're going to have uh, Ooh, winners. We're going to have guests from at least Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and Namibia. Are you asking me to predict who's going to win? Give us a winner, man. Give us a winner. <sighs> I'm going to go say. I'm going to say Senegal go back to back. I also think Senegal will go back to back. Uh, they, they, like you they, look they, at the, they, you look at it. They got, we we didn't even mention. They can play they got, any kind of football. They got Mendy and goal. They got Koulibaly. They got Mane. France, they be, they, they got, can play they, any they kind just, of game. They just got too much. Yeah, they, it's they, too hot. They just got too much. It's too hot. Uh, so they're going to go. Who back who, to who are they beating in the final? I I don't know how the draw lands out. Oh, because so, so. collected a silver medal last time. Yeah, I don't know how the draw lands, but this that is it. <laughs> Working title FC presents 23 in 24 on the AFCON. Get on it! Yeah, man. Where are our William Nicol... Uh, no, Winnie Mandela Drive There's for a tender. Shirts. We need a tender. Get on it. <laughs> Win the first game and watch our shirts Oh, no, bro. Watch. Well, on the Fridays. 